Thank you for joining us. I'm Amira David. We start with the struggling shops in downtown Detroit. Three stores along Woodward Avenue closing their doors this year. First, Under Armour. Then, Detroit is the new black. And now, clothing retailer Madewell. 7 Action News reporter Kiara Hay spoke with some shop owners nearby about what might be driving the retailers out of town. Tomorrow will be the last day shoppers can come to Madewell here in Detroit. The store announcing it's closing just one month after its neighbor, Detroit is a new black closed shop as well. Many say it felt like a rebirth. After years of a desolated downtown, businesses started coming back to Woodward in Detroit. For me, it was sentimental. Linda Rose Eckhart says she grew up in a small town near the Ohio border. And my father, for Mother's Day, our birthdays, we came to the big city to shop. Eckhart still takes those shopping trips, with big retail stores being added to the list, like Nike, Under Armour, H&M, Moose Jaw, and Madewell, all opening up in the past seven years. But once again, her list is shrinking. In the past three months, three clothing stores have announced they'll be closing for good. It almost feels like a betrayal in a way. Hang on, we just had a pandemic. Under Armour shuttered in January. Madewell is closing Sunday night two big retailers. Its neighbor, Detroit is the New Black, which is a locally owned business, closed its storefront as well. Bedrock owns the building housing all three. Seven Action News reached out to see what and whose decision it was for the businesses to close. A spokesperson sent a statement saying they are working with tenants to better position them and accommodate new opportunities to strengthen downtown, adding they are excited by the new retailers and restaurateurs currently working with us to find new spaces. A lot of people come mostly to this area of Detroit and without having like shopping as like a major attraction, I'm not sure how it's going to affect the city. There's three pour sizes so you can get a taste, a half a glass or a full glass. Shelly Bynum is a sommelier at House of Pure Vin. The wine shop and tasting room was a part of the wave of new businesses coming downtown several years ago. She says COVID hit everyone hard, but retailers have had a more difficult time bouncing back. So many of us shopped online at Amazon. And, you know, we were able to get that retail fix, but we weren't able to have that social experience. But despite a few of the retail stores leaving, Bynum says downtown is far from dead. Downtown is so vibrant, even through COVID. Every summer there's more vibrancy added. Bedrock would not say what new businesses would be coming to downtown, but they said it'll be a combination of global powerhouses and storied local successes. In downtown Detroit, Kiara Hay, 7 Action News.